Okay, so here we have a small uh, photo of the Taj Mahal uh, with the dimensions of a length of five centimeters and a breadth of four centimeters. And we're going to try and copy that picture in the scale of four to one. But what does that mean would happen with the length then? Um, then the increase, it's a magnification, so we would multiply this picture by the scale of 4 divided by 1, which is just to multiply it by 4. So our length of 5 centimetres would now become the length of 5 times 4, which would give us 20 centimetres. So the length if, of A in A would be now 20 centimetres. The breadth would be our original 4 centimetres multiplied by our scale factor 4, which would be 4 times 4. So the breadth of our new picture that we would draw would be 60 centimetres. So in our books, we would draw a picture that was 20 centimetres long instead, and it would be 16. So in, this would be a scale of 4 to 1 of that particular picture, just approximately here. Um, okay, what would happen to the perimeter then? The perimeter of this particular photograph, the perimeter of the original, would be 2 times the length plus the breadth, which would be 2 times 4 plus 5 is 9, which would be 18 centimetres. So the perimeter of our original photo would be 18 centimetres. The perimeter of our sketch would be two times the perimeter of A, would be two times our new length A plus length B, uh, the breadth. Uh, sorry, plus the breadth of A. So we know that we would have two times 16 plus 20 is 36, which would be 72 centimetres. So what so what's happening when we increase the length and the breadth by 4? Our perimeter, 72, is 4 times what 18 was. So our perimeter is getting 4 times larger. So the perimeter of A divided by the perimeter of the original would be 72 divided by 18, which is 4. So the perimeter is using the same factor of increase as the length and the breadth was. And this is the interesting thing uh, when it comes to maths. Right, let's look at the area then. Well, the area of the original would be length times breadth. Sorry. Length times breadth, which would be 5 times 4, which would be 20 centimetres squared. So the area of our original picture here, the photograph, would be 20 centimetres squared. What would be the area of our enlargement? Well, the area of the enlargement would be the original length, 4, multiplied by the 4 times enlargement, multiplied by the original uh, breadth, 5 times the enlargement. So if you just put it as these particular terms here, use these ones instead. The length increase, the breadth increase, 4 times 4, 5 times 4. What do we get? Well, we know that 4 times 5 is 20. What's left over? We've got a, a 4 times magnification of the length and a 4 times magnification of the breadth. So we actually get that the area ends up being 20 times 4 squared. 4 squared is 16, so we end up with an area of 20 times 16. Uh, 2 16s are 32, so 20 times 16 would be 320 centimetres squared. Notice that the area is, the original area was 20, the new area of our magnification is 20 times the magnification squared, so 4 squared, which is 16, which is 20 times 16, which is 320. So the area of A divided by the area of the original is 320 divided by 20, which is the same as 20 times 16 divided by 20. 320 is the same as 20 times 16. 
So the area magnification is 16 times larger, or 4 squared. And this is a very important concept to get. So what happens then when we do a reduction instead? Now we have uh, going to make this picture in the scale of 1 to 2. So what's our magnification factor? We'll be multiplying by the first number divided by the second number. So we'll be multiplying by a half. This will give us our length of 5 centimetres divided by a half, which would give us 2.5 centimetres. So the length of our new sketch, length B, would be 2.5 centimetres. The breadth of sketch B would be our 4 centimetres multiplied by a half or divided by 2, which would be 2 centimetres. So breadth of, of our new sketch is something like this. In this size would be 2 centimetres. How would that affect our perimeter? Well, the perimeter of sketch B would be 2 times the length plus the breadth, which would be 2 times 2 plus 2.5, two which would be 4.5, which would be 9 centimetres. So when we're doing a factor increase of a half, our perimeter is also halved. So the 18 centimetres perimeter of the original is now 9 centimetres. And that's what we would expect when it comes to perimeter. What would we expect when it comes to area? Well, the area of our new sketch, I would expect it to be um, multiplied by a factor. So the original area, 20, multiplied by, first I multiply the, the length by a half, then I multiply the breadth by a half, and a half times a half is a quarter. So I would expect the area of my new picture to be 20 times a quarter, which is 20 divided by 4, which is 5 centimetres squared. 20 divided by 4 is 5 centimetres squared. Well, let's put the numbers that we've got in and see if we end up with an area of 5 centimetres squared. The area of my new picture, B, is the length, which is 2.5, multiplied by the breadth, which is 2, 2.5 centimetres times 2 centimetres is 5 centimetres squared. So this factor change that I was expecting, that when I increase the length by 4, I increase the area by 4 squared. When I decrease the length and breadth by a factor of a half, multiplied by a half instead, I decrease the area by a factor of a quarter. And Playing around with these numbers, trying different numbers, try increasing the, the size of this photo by 3 um, uh, or by 4 and, and um, reduce it to a quarter and find out what happens with the area then. Play a little bit around with these numbers.